and I was at the GI Bill studying composition in Manhattan School and playing with Mingus and working part-time in the post office and doing jobs as a movie man, what everybody did to survive, which was easier then because the rents and everything were much lower and there was plenty of work that you could get doing just about any odd job. Yes, when I was lucky enough playing with Mingus, Willie Jones introduced me to Thelonious. He said, he, he, he digs your horn playing. I almost fainted. I said, wow, I'm, I, if I'd known he was there, I would have been nervous. And I met him, he said, no, I said, I like what you're doing. He said, we've got to hang out. So we took out this little book, little address book, with all kinds of different pages. And different. I said, my gosh, he's never even going to be able to find me if he's really interested or be able to read. He was scratching away, and sure enough, he called up, and he came up to my sixth floor walk up between Avenue B and C back in 1955, and I cooked him the best meal I could, and he sat down on my old piano, and I said, you know, Mr. Monk, he said, Thelonious, Thelonious. So I said, Thelonious, um, I, when I was in Paris, before I came to New York, a friend of mine, Harvey Cropper, a great painter who loved music, played me a recording of Little Rudy Tootie and Off Minor, and he said, I tried to figure out how to play Off Minor and the chords so I asked other musicians, and they all showed me what, different versions of what they thought it was. But then, when I heard you play it, I realized that wasn't what you had done. And he said, well, they should have asked me. <laughs> then he wrote down all the chords, every, every single, and he had his own way of notating certain stuff of putting down D minor, flat five with a major seventh and all that. But when you actually figured it out, it was pretty much what he played, except he, of course he had his own way of doing it that was like phenomenal. But he was like a, sort of like a great scientist as well as an amazing improviser. 